Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to do a review on a new electric blower, and I'm finally converting over from gas to electric. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by nobody, <laughs> because I buy my own crap. Uh, my old blower, which I've had for, I think it's six or seven years, is finally just getting so hard to start. It's a gas. It's a pull-on, pull-on, pull-on. Uh, great blower, but uh, it's time to get a new one. I'm just tired of dealing with it. So I sat there for about half an hour at Lowe's this morning, going over all the features and reading all the specs on it. And I finally picked, I said, you know what? I've had real good luck with my cobalt uh, electric trimmers, which... I did a video for, did a review on that, the electric trimmer. So I decided to go with uh, the blower. I went with the 80 volt and I figured I'd unbox it for you and just show it to you. And uh, I'll let you know how I like it. And by the way, uh, there's a little red button. I think it's over here. Subscribe, click that subscribe button. And that way you'll know when I do more of these and all the other videos I do. So hold on. Hey guys, so um I figured I'd go ahead and just go ahead and unbox this with you, but this is the Cobalt. This is the 80 volt max. It uh, It's up to 500 cubic feet per minute, and I believe it's, yeah, it's 125 miles an hour, and that's typically what you'll see on your blower ratings, is you'll have your cubic feet per minute, and then you'll have your wind speed. And uh, as I looked at them, the majority of the better ones all had about, were close to this, about 500 and 125. And again, I've had real good luck with my cobalt electric trimmers with the lithium batteries in it, which is really nice. So I figured I'd get this one and try it out. Now, I'm not taking this on commercial jobs, so that's why I'm willing to go with the electric. It's just for around the house. If I was going to be working, taking it on commercial jobs or remote location, I'd probably go with gas. But so uh, they also have a 40 volt one, but I figured I'd go ahead and get the bigger one. Instruction manual, important. All right, so chargers, their chargers are always pretty nice. Like I said, this is just like the other one I have. Um, it usually does have some kind of a cooling fan inside of it or cooling vent. Uh, you're charging a big battery. It's an 80 volt battery, and it's a 30 minute charge time, from what I've what I've read on it. Pretty simple. It's also about it's also about half the weight of a normal gas one, and I think now I think that's really was one of my decisions on it was. Uh, it's a, it's a lightweight unit, but it has a lot of power to it. The other thing is is you know I use a blower once or twice a week maybe, in the winter time I don't use it a lot. It sits there. I gotta maintain it, and uh, I'm just not good at maintaining this stuff in the winter time, to be honest. I'm just the average guy. So, we got our tubes. We got a battery. There's the battery. One thing I like about these cobalt products, watch out, babe. So, uh, like I said, it's, there's really no assembly required on these things. That's what I like about the cobalt, as it usually isn't. Stick it in, turn it, put your battery in. So it has a battery indicator on it, so all you do is just tap it, and it'll show you that it has two bars of charge on it. So if you're getting ready to pick it up, you can just tap it and say, is it going to last for my blowing episode? Uh, what I've found with the cobalt is, if I'm, if I'm correct, is with your words, the words are upright. You just take it and stick it in, and that's it. Now she's gonna bark. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go hit the power button. I haven't read the instructions. So the little light came on. The little light came on. The power button here, and it shows the speeds. So there's speed one. So I'm on speed two. Take it up to speed three. So there's one. There's speed one. Speed two. And you can feel, you can actually feel the thrust on this thing. Speed three. Wow. 
That's a good amount of power. It's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a delay when you push the button because it's brushless. You push the button. Watch. Push the button. That's pretty good. So let's blow some stuff. Now I'll warn you. Now I'll warn you. Linda hates these blowers, so she'll probably be coming into it and get involved here. <laughs> what a nut. I told you, she's going to get involved in this. Now I will say this, the nice thing about this is uh, I'm not listening to the, to the engine run the whole time I'm doing this. So if the phone rings or if I'm doing something else, I just set it down, push the button, and away we go. So I did what you're not supposed to do, obviously. I've just put it right out of the box and put it into the machine. So uh, let's give it a full charge and see how she runs on a full charge. Again, it's real simple. On their chargers, you can see all these slots, and you'd see all those slots there. And basically all you do, see if we do this with one hand, you just push it in, and that light's gonna flash. And when it's flashing, it's charging, you can hear the fan running. Solid green. Solid green means that it's fully charged. And then you have your error signals. So let's, uh, again, it's a big lithium battery. It's, uh, what is it, two amps? Let's let this charge, it says it's a 30 minute charge time. Let's go ahead and let's charge it up. And let's put it back in and see if the unit is even more powerful on a full charge. And snap, 25 minutes later, the light is solid green. Oh. <laughs> Can't do it one-handed. Take it out of here. <laughs> Put it in there. Power on. Power on. It's on high. And let's see what happens now. All right, so there's the beast. Um, so here's what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a B plus. <clears throat> so what's my final take on this thing? Uh, I'd give it a B plus. And here's why I don't go up towards the A category of it. Compared to my old Poulon, which is 200 miles an hour gas unit. Um, I mean, I can shoot that thing a good 15, 20 feet and still have a lot of push power behind it. This one, I'm at about eight to 10 feet with really good push power behind it. So if I had a big job to do, if I was blowing a lot of leaves, um, the gas one is probably what I'd choose, but I'll tell you this much, I probably won't break out the gas one anymore simply because I have to refuel it. I have to sit there and choke it. I have to do all that stuff I'm battling with. I probably need to order a new carb for it. Um, this one, I just break it out and for around the house, it's perfect. So I give it a B plus. I'm not saying that you're gonna find it and say, wow, this thing, the power is amazing behind this thing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the power is decent behind it. And it's good for general clippings around the yard, clean up after you cut. That's where I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna refurb my old pool on actually, and I'm gonna keep that for any big jobs I got. So uh, like I said, B plus. Hey guys, I'm gonna cut this in somewhere on this video because there's two things I need to point out. Number one, I didn't realize it. <laughs> This was on a Memorial Day sale. 
This thing lists for $269. It was on sale for $179. I used my veteran's discount and I got it for like $160. So that's a hell of a deal. Secondly, um, the more and more I use this, the more and more I like it. And I'm definitely a B plus, leaning towards an A minus, just because uh, it's so easy. Instead of <laughs> instead of having to worry about fuel and choking and pulling and starting and go and the noise, this is just. I mean, you just push the start button. It's on. Pull the handle, and it's running. Now I will. One other point that I forgot to note is it has three speeds on it. I don't know really why you would need that because the if you put it on the highest speed the switch does act as a variable speed which I didn't realize so watch this is on this is on uh, the highest power So it is a variable speed switch. I guess they just make three speeds so you can just squeeze it and hold it at that speed, but I'll never take it off of high, I'll be honest, because it's got a variable speed on it. And that was my only concern, was that it didn't have a variable speed. So I wanted to point out those three things. Number one, the price, it was a really good deal, better than I thought. Number two is the variable speed factor on it. And number three, I'm actually liking this thing a whole lot more than I thought I would. My, my overall ratings is I give it a thumbs up, especially for convenience, for lack of noise. Good product. Doc, how you do it? Make sure you push that little red subscribe button too. Talk to you later.